Hey guys, your buddy Glasgow here. Once again, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple quick videos here today. I'm waiting on someone. Uh, I want to talk about my thoughts on some of Trump's picks, uh, especially the one for Secretary of State. Um, I don't know much about the guy, as I said on another video. Um, all I know is he ain't fucking Mitt Romney. That's all I fucking care about. Um, this guy, Tillman, has been endorsed by Condoleezza Rice and a couple, another couple other people. I respect Condoleezza Rice's, um, endorsement. And, um, so, I think he should be okay. The thing is, if he's not okay, Trump will fire him. As we already know, Trump is the king of firing. Plus, I know a lot of people are upset that he has a lot of business dealings with Russia. Well, I should say, the Dems, Dems are fucking going to be upset with no matter who the fuck uh, Trump picks unless it's a goddamn Democrat. Um, some Republicans are upset with the Russian connections, but like I said before in a previous video, if you run a worldwide company like that, you're going to have dealings with everybody. So, I'm not upset with it. As long as he keeps America first. Now, if he does it, then we got a problem. And then, like I said, if he doesn't put America first, then you can pick, make uh, gripes to President Trump, and I'm sure he'll fire him. This man has to give up. Another thing I find unique about President Trump's picks is that many of these people, especially this um, Till Tillman, they have to give up a lot of fucking money to come serve in our government, to serve the United States. Um, he's got to get up, up pretty much all of his shares in his own company. And that's quite a lot from what I heard, several, quite a couple million shares. Now granted, he gets, uh, it would be since he's coming into the public service, that selling of that money, he'd get a tax break. Um, and be tax free, which is no fucking big deal to me. That's that's a perk. You get some perks for working into the service. I know some of the public service. I know the couple people, Democrats, of course, are pissed. Well, oh, you gonna get a little more. You can't fucking win with these fucking people. Um, this man, this is another man that made over twenty five million dollars a year, at least, or more. And now he's going to come work for a pittance for public service. Just like Donald Trump. Look how much money a year Donald made. Now he's going to go down to a dollar a year. Vowed not to make any deals uh, for his company for four to eight years. Depending on how many terms you get. One or two terms. So these people are giving up quite a bit of fucking money to come work for to be in service for us. I, I, I as a business person, even as just a common citizen, I appreciate that. I mean, they could sit back and make millions upon millions of fucking dollars and say, fuck that, let, the, let America go. But they're going to give that up and come serve, um, work for us. And let, try and make us all get a little bit better. So I think people should think about that before they criticize. I'm going to give this guy a chance, and if he fucks up, I'll be the one, another one, first one to fucking criticize him. Just like I said with Trump. I'm a Trump supporter. But if, if he does something wrong, I'm going to call him on it. Like if he would have picked Romney for Secretary of State. I would have been the biggest fucking uh, hollerer and criticizer of it. So, so far, I'm impressed with Trump. He's working across the aisle already. I mean, he's getting along with Paul Ryan. He's called a couple Democrats up to his penthouse. He's, he's calling people who... Shouted shit against him during the um, general election, even in the primaries. And he's calling him, trying to work stuff out, trying to get to know them, saying, let's work together. So I think this guy, so Trump needs to get some credit for this shit. He's also bringing back more jobs. I believe it was IBM the other day. So they're going to bring in like uh, 25,000 more jobs over the next couple of years. Companies are and bring them back into the states. So companies, this man's not even in office yet. He hasn't passed hardly any, any legislation yet 
and companies are coming back because of him. Because he said, we're going to get this done. We're going to cut the taxes. We're going to cut back on the regulations. And I'm sure Paul Ryan and Congress said, we're going to do the same thing. Now, on Mitch McConnell, that fucktard, another guy that needs to get the fuck out, come out and saying that, uh, oh, I don't think we're going to do the, the tax cuts that deep. We'll do, we want to do um, budget neutral. Fuck you. Drop that shit. No, I would have took... We're not going to drop them all at once. We're going to drop to half on the first year. Um, like half of what we promised. And then the following year we'll drop to the to the amount. You know, like we're not going to drop from 20 straight down to 10. We'll drop down to 15% on taxes. Then we'll go to another 5% the following year. That would be acceptable. Because you don't want to shock the system. And I said that in a previous video of mine. That would have been acceptable. They say, oh no, we're not going to, we're just going to lower just a smidge. We need to be able to, no, you're going to, you need to fucking drop them taxes. And I think they will, because I think uh, Trump will push for that. Because I think another thing is going to be right outside the gate. It's like, um, we're going to fix this budget. We're going to come up with a budget. And we're going to slash some more. And we're going to give out these, you know, we're going to do these tax breaks. So, that's my thoughts for right now. I'll probably make another video here in a little bit, a little while later. Like I said. So, I just want to do some real quick thoughts on that. Um, like, dislike, comment, and subscribe down below. And, as always, you guys take care. And I will see you all next time.